Hello, let's talk about whole numbers. The introduction to whole numbers. These are our objectives. First, to identify the order of relationships between two numbers. Second objective, uh, to write the whole numbers in words and in standard form. Third, to write the whole numbers in expanded form. And last, to run whole numbers to a given place value. First, let's have the first um, objectives in which we're going to identify the relationship between two numbers. Okay, in order for this, we're going to use symbols. We're going to place the correct symbols such as the lesser than or greater than between two uh, numbers. So, for examples, we have 39 and 24 and 0 and 51. So let's answer this. Number one, of course, that is just simply as 39 is greater than 24 and 2 is lesser than 51. Next, to write the whole numbers in words and in standard form. Let's say, for example, we're going to write 25478083 in words or this is 25 million four hundred seventy eight thousand eighty three now take no plus do not use the word n after your four hundred seventy eight thousand because if you do it's just like you're referring to the decimal places or to the decimal point and that means decimal point next to write the whole numbers in expanded form. Say for example, we're going to write 23859 in expanded form. In order for this, the solutions will be force 20,000 plus 3,000 plus 800 plus 50 plus 9. Next. Another example, we're going to write the numbers in a standard form and expanded form. And we're going to answer this. We have seven thousands, we have eight of hundreds, and we have eight of tens and seven of ones. So to answer this, first, we're going to write it in a standard form. This is simply as 7887 or 7887. And now we're going to answer it in expanded form. The expanded form for this is just simple. You have your thousands place at seven. So we therefore we having we will be having seven thousand plus eight hundred plus eighty plus seven. Next, to round the whole numbers to a given place value. Example, we're going to round nineteen seventy-two to the nearest hundred. Techno class, the nearest hundred. The solution for this is that we're going to identify first the given place value, in which, in this case, the given place value is 9. And we're going to take note of the next value to the given place value. This is the next given place value, which is 7. That is greater than 5. Or if it is equal to 5, Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to add the given place value by 1. Also then, take note that 9, if we're going to add by 1, it will become 10. Then, just simply, you're going to add 1 to the thousands place. Because then, uh, 10 cannot be right. It will be just uh, right as 0. Then, carry on to the, your thousands place. So the answer for this is simply 2,000. Thank you.